Hello friends, I am Fahim Sattar and I welcome all of you to my channel. In this tutorial you are going to learn how to create a timetable for a class in a school. You can create a timetable for any purpose but I am creating a timetable for a class in a school. For this, first of all you will have to change the page layout. You will have to hit the page layout tab. Then you will have to change the orientations. For, from the orientations you will have to select landscape. I select landscape and then you will have to go, you will have to click insert tab and from insert tab you will have to click tables and from the tables you can click insert table and from insert table I create a table with 11 columns and 12 rows. I click OK and the table has been created. First of all, I merge all the cells in the first row. I select all the cells. Then I right click on the selected area and then merge cells and you can see that cells has been merged and here you can type school name school name from the home tab I center this text and I can also change the font size of the text and also the font then I select all the cells in the second row you can select any cell when the cursor becomes an arrow right click on it and then merge cells and the cells has been merged here I want to type time table for class let's say class 5 I select the text and then I center it. I also change the font size of the text. I also make it bold and also change the fonts. Then I select three cells of the first column. right click on, click on it then merge cells and here I can type timings then I write here periods then I select period control C copy it and then paste it here then I can write here from and to from means from the time period will start and to means the time where the period will end you can see I have merged three cells and of and made a title timings and timings you can see there are the three rows one is of periods in which you can see there are eight periods including break and then uh, the timing of the period from the time period starts and to the time where the period end for example the first period is starting from 8 o'clock to 8:40 second period is starting from 8:40 to 9:20 then i will select sorry my mouse is not working properly uh, I select all these cells and again click merge and here I type days of week but I change I select the text 
right click on it and then text direction I change the direction of the text and I middle it I then change the font size and also I increase the size of the table from here when the cursor become double headed you can click it now here you can see days of the week I want to change its font here I can type days of the week Monday Tuesday Thursday uh, sorry Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday and here this is the break time so I merge I select all these cells right click on them and then merge cells and here I write break I select the text right click on it direction of the text I center the text I change the font size and also the font I also select these cells right click on I select these cells in the second row second last row right click on click on it and then merge cells I again select this cell and split cells two columns one row and here I type class teacher sign or signature here I type principal signature then I click shift and minus button to draw a line for the signature here also I click enter then then I press shift and minus button to have a place to make a place for principal signature then these cells are useless so I select them and right click on them then I select the option of delete cells and the cells has been deleted now I will have to correct this corner is not working properly
Now. You can see you can type the subject's name here. For example, I select the first period is of science. Then I select a text, control C, copy it, then paste. Then second period is of maths. I select the text. Maths. Control C. Then Control V. This is how your timetable will look after you enter your desired periods or classes. From here, I select this text, then right click on it, direction of the text, I center it and change its font size make it bold and here is the timetable has been prepared you can change the design of the timetable from design you can select different designs and here you can see the timetable for your class has been prepared if this video was helpful for you, please subscribe our channel and hit the like button. Thank you.